Welcome. In front of me I have the Lenovo Tab M9 and today I'll go with unboxing along with a quick overview of this tablet. So anyway, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so in here we presumably have this little case that has a kickstand and some kind of screen protector, which is pretty nice. There is our plastic screen protector, some instructions, absolutely nothing. This is empty inside and the case. Moving to the device itself. Pretty neat design, kind of like it. Okay, it's gonna turn on. Now inside of the box we get paperwork. Charging cable, type C to type A, and a charger, which is 10 watts. There we go. Now let's heat it up to the side and move over to the device. So here you can see uh, the size of the display with all the bezels. And this is a 9 inch display with a 800 by 1340 resolution IPS LCD display with a uh, typical brightness of 400 nits and 78% screen to body ratio with 173 pixels per inch running on Android 12. Now, uh, continuing into the internals, uh, we have a fairly small battery in here considering the size at 5100 milliamps. And the reason I'm saying that it's small is because most of the phones have this kind of battery and the phones are about a third of the size of this. Uh, it's also being powered by a MediaTek uh, 6769 nice, uh, V and has built in 32, 64 or 128 gigs of storage and the 32 gigs comes with 3 gigabytes of RAM while the 64 and 128 comes come with uh, 4 gigs of RAM. Now continuing uh, into the cameras at the back, this tiny little camera that's a 8 megapixel sensor can shoot at 1080p 30 frames and then at the front we got a measly 2 megapixels uh, so yeah even worse as you can see and it's uh, about all the worth mentioning specs right here now one thing that i'll mention is this device costs about 180 euros so it is basically a budget device uh probably catering to just casual like Netflix watchers, maybe some email browsing and stuff like that. So obviously it's not going to do any kind of like heavy lifting or anything like that. So yeah, it, if you're looking for a powerful device, this most likely won't be it. This is just a, let's call it a display to check emails and maybe watch some like Netflix slash YouTube. Though with YouTube, um, if you're planning to maybe run like videos at 4K, I expect that it might drop frames. So just keep that in mind. Though I'm not exactly sure why anybody would be running at 4K videos, considering this display is uh, a little bit over 720p. Now, that being said, there is not much to it. It's a, basically a budget device uh, with one little downside, which I consider as the battery size. It is on a very small side, considering the size of this display or device. Now, it's not big by all means, but the battery here could be 7,000 and it would have been significantly better. It would last longer than with 5,000 obviously, and it would bring up the value of this device significantly. But nonetheless, it's a little bit on the low side. 
So anyway, there's not much more to say about this device. Last thing that I'm going to do is just uh, kind of put on the case just so people can see how this looks like with this case. And there we go. Fits on pretty nicely. You get the little kickstand right here. It is plastic, as you can see. It clips into place, uh, which something tells me that it might wear out after like flipping this for well, half a year. But that's just expectations. Uh, it's based on nothingness. Uh, and as you can see, it holds the device pretty well. You can kickstand it in both orientations. Yeah, that's a pretty good job. Now, when folding it, I probably wouldn't press on it to kind of fold it unless... Yeah, I would just kind of tr recommend uh, trying to get it unclipped from here. Because it, it is a fairly flimsy feeling plastic, so it could possibly break. But anyway, with this being said, hopefully you found this very helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.